Just inside the grounds, one of the cabin areas here where people stay. And we're just looking around and suddenly out of nowhere comes a huge stone sphere. Very impressed with this one. Didn't even realise this one was here. Different to the one we photographed last night. Very impressive nonetheless. So I'm sitting here next to yet another stone sphere that we've discovered on the grounds of some cabins actually in Palma Norte, Costa Rica. It's quite a big one. It's uh, probably about four feet wide. Um, looks like it's made of some kind of basalt, but it does look kind of crystalline. It has got a granity look to it. This is like probably number 51 of all the ones we've seen just down south uh, around Palma Sur and Palma Norte. So another fascinating find. We didn't even realize this was here. We thought that we thought we saw another one on the outside last night. So we asked, can we have a look at the sphere? And then this is actually a different one, another addition to the whole collection here in Costa Rica. So this is probably number 51 of all the spheres we've seen. This is very impressive. It looks perfectly circular. Again, it has this very powerful <laughs> looking presence to it. It seems to be made of basalt rock. just over the road from the technical college where the two massive spheres are and the smaller one on a small platform just next to El Encanto restaurant here is a sphere just in someone's garden which we just spotted and secretly filming but you can see it's probably about three and a half feet wide or tall and it looks pretty amazing so I just wanted to catch this it could be in situ, it could be aligned to the mega stone spheres across the road. We really don't know. There's also another one we just spotted just around the corner from here as well. So there's a lot just scattered around Palma Norte and Palma Sur. Probably some we may not have even seen, which we'll have to do next time when we bring a group here. So we've just been allowed access because I got caught peering through the bushes. So just getting close-ups here just to see if there's anything of interest on the outside of the sphere. Can't really see anything outstanding but it does look pretty accurately carved. And the dog's going a bit mental but I'm sure I'll be okay. Thank you. <laughs> We've just come in from Palma Sur. We've come to this sort of secret location where some of the archaeologists stay and the museum own this land that they're about to build and in, within the grounds here are several spheres that have been collected from various places and are being, are being prepared and while the museum is being built and then they're going to be put in the museum so this is a place that no one knows about no one really comes to and we've suddenly got access to see some of the most amazing spheres that have ever been discovered. Some of them look pretty big. Let's go and take a closer look. Well, this one looks about five feet tall. So this is the house where they're all kept at the moment. And then this is the probably five foot, five and a half feet tall. And there's a smaller one. Another one probably just less than five feet. This one has a strange kind of ring around the bottom of it. Could be from where it's sitting in marshy wetlands. I don't think it's part of the design. It's interesting. It looks a bit like a cricket ball. This one seems to be the mapper, the one, one with the secret map. You can see the spirals carved on it, which 
which I've been seeing all over my travels of Central and South America. Oh uh, yeah, you can start seeing the shapes and the spirals. And our man here believes, our man Manuel believes it's a kind of map of where the stones are, or a star map. Here. You can see lines, and spheres, spirals, all over this amazing sphere. So this is like one of the most important stones, probably the whole Costa Rica region. This even looks like some kind of boat has been carved on here. As you can see the shape of it going around the edge. Incredible. You see this sort of curved shape going all the way around here. I wonder if that's a representation of a boat. Here's that spiral, which is absolutely fascinating because we've seen similar ones at Tiwanaku in different places. And we have a cross up on top, other spirals here. Which to me looks like part of a boat. It does look like a boat. Incredible. But you certainly see something going on here. Which is really interesting. This is like a very interesting sphere. Carvings all over it. None of the other ones I've seen have carvings apart from one that we saw at the San Jose Museum that was not up to this standard. It's like a grid pattern on top here. Also more spirals on top just going around the edge. Okay, so we're here at this sort of secret location near Palma Sur in Costa Rica. About a site, there's probably about nine spheres here. Most of them have come from different places, but this one, the most important one of the whole collection that I've seen, was actually found here in situ, and this is the one with the carvings on it. To me, they look like spiral carvings that we've seen in many different places in South and Central America, as well as all over the world. But it's got what looks like a boat on it, which sort of summarizes many of the ideas put together by George Erickson and Ivor Zapp that it was a navigational culture going way back, and these were navigational markers going back way into prehistory. Um, there's some other carvings all over this, and the only other one we've seen like this is in San Jose Museum, the one that's been broken open and has the black stone in the center of it. So, this is the only one in situ out of the whole collection here. And these are all here waiting to go into the museum that is currently being built at Finca 6. Again, in Palma Sur, well, towards Serpe, near Palma Sur, in Costa Rica. So we've found something really incredible today. I did not expect to see these. These are not on the tourist trail. So we've got to thank our driver, Manuel, for bringing us all the way here. And just look at the amazing spheres <laughs> that we've seen here. Um, I'm absolutely blown away. I'm very grateful to be taken such an amazing place. Look what I found. So we're here at Finca Silencio in Palma Sur in Costa Rica. We just found this. Uh, our good friend, our driver, came all the way through this dirt track for about three miles 
literally in the middle of nowhere. This is not on the tourist trail. You're not going to be seeing this in the guidebooks, but we made it here. And this is possibly, if not the biggest stone sphere in the whole of Costa Rica. And you can see clearly it's been chipped away. There's been lots of activity kind of cut, taking the layer off, which shows to me that there was something on there. And if we have a look just around the corner, we can actually see some of these carvings still there. This is what looks like a carving. Um, and it's even got some red kind of coloring on it still. And up here, there's things happening. But this to me looks like the remnants of one of those classic spirals. And we saw a very similar motif on one of the smaller stones. The one that had the black pebble in the center uh, had a very similar motif. So I wonder if all this chipping away is uh, just looters taking it to try and sell on the black market. And I think this is a little bit of evidence to suggest that this was covered in either paint or carvings. Clearly see all this chipping away at the surface. Lots of it has happened. I don't think this is natural. Almost looks like it's had some kind of, it looks odd. It's almost like it's been cast and layered uh, with an extra layer on top. Fascinating. So it certainly looks like something's happened here. Something probably to do with looters trying to take something that was on the surface. Maybe it was even covered in gold. So we're just doing a uh, standard reading for GPS, but it also takes in different angles like elevation, distances, um, and altitude. And we're just doing this because I want to make sure we get a perfect GPS readings of all the different sites we go to. Spotted down this ravine here. I wonder, this is very strange, like a sign that says Il Silencio, archaeological site.